were laughing. We're saying it's like a contest there with the kids screaming. It's like, how do you pick? How do you even know who to pick? It's hard. It's so hard. You know, it's so hard. Um, you know, you just got to pick them every day how you feel, you know. It doesn't really matter. If a guy's crying, you know, you pick him. Uh, if someone's really loud, you get them. Thank you so much. So, Andre Roberts here. With a lot of speed guys, Santana Moss, you have a Deshaun Jackson. I saw you out there. You're a speed guy, too. I mean, what are you guys doing on your downtime? Are you racing? Or are you, what are you, I mean, come on. Take me in. Who's the fastest one out there? Oh, uh, shoot. Probably, it's probably between Aldrich, Robinson, and uh, Deshaun. Uh, they, they they both got some next level speed. I told uh, Aldrich today. I think that he ate his Cheerios this morning, two bowls or yeah, something. Yeah, right? he was he was running past the defense all day. That's awesome, man. So let me ask you: You're new here, man. You're taking in the D.C. area. What what do you do you like it so far? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love it here. Um, it rains a little bit more here, but uh, that's okay. That's kind of the, what the East Coast is about. You get a little bit more weather, but. I love it here, and I'm I'm happy to be here. What is um What are you most looking forward to, coming in and playing this role with the Washington Redskins? I mean, what what's your main goal going into this season? I just want to be a playmaker, man. I just I just want to come out here and, and special teams in our offense, make some plays, help this team win, team win a Super Bowl. I know you're coming from an exi- exciting team in the Arizona Cardinals, but the Washington Redskins, man, you have a Robert Griffin the third, mm-hmm. those receivers that I just mentioned yourself, Alfred Morris. There's a lot of weapons. Mm-hmm. Or have you been this excited in a long time? I imagine you're pretty excited to get this season up and going. I am pretty excited. Um, we, we, like you said, we have a lot of weapons, and it's exciting. We all have to just try to stay healthy and uh, stay on the same page on Sundays, and it, it'll be a good year. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. I'm here with Nick Sumberg, PickFactor.com. Now, Nick, it's almost, it is the end of the week almost. Tomorrow's Fan Appreciation Day. How was this week? You're having the Patriots. Well, let's just start back it up. How was this week? Uh, this week's been awesome. Uh, you know, with the new coaching staff, they bring a whole lot of intensity to practice. Um, that includes special teams. Our scout teams go super hard to give us great looks. Um, we've been doing a ton of snapping and kicking. Uh, you know, I, the weather's been phenomenal, aside from a little bit of rain today. But uh, it, we've, had, we've had a great couple weeks. And how are the kickers so far? How is uh, Kai and how's Zach Hawker? How, how, how's that looking so far in training camp? Uh, it's a real tight battle. I mean, they're both kicking the ball really well. They're both kicking off well. They're both kicking field goals well. So um, that's going to be a real tough decision for the coaches. And I think as a, as, a, as a competitor, I think that's all you can ask for is to make it a really tough decision. Um, but they're both doing excellent. What's the game plan with the Patriots coming into town Monday and Tuesday, you guys practicing against them and then facing them in a preseason game? Uh, I think it's just to get, you know, some practice against somebody that's not ourselves for a few days. You know, we get to to hit somebody else for the first time in months and um and uh you know see some spaces get a different bit or a a little bit of a different look because they run different schemes than we do things like that especially on special teams it's great to get some some different guys in there that you aren't going against or just so you aren't going against the same guys every day so i mean you get to know each other and you get to know tendencies and stuff like that so you get a whole new crop of guys in here a whole nother team and uh, everything changes it gets a whole lot more intense for eight days now. What are you hoping to get out of facing the Patriots? Um, the experience. You know, I, I've never experienced nothing like this in my whole career. You know, a joint practice, you know, it's going to be feisty out there. You're going to be going against competition. And um, it's just like keeping score. So it's just like having three preseason games in one week. What do you like having Ike back? And what has he been working on you, working on with you? Appreciate it. All right, thank you. It's good to have Ike back, man. Ike's a good coach. And, um, his first year here was uh, my first year making the team, so he helped me a lot, and uh, he's continuing to help me now. Now, have you gotten faster, man? Are you? <laughs> did you eat some Cheerios before practice? There's something about you that's just different. What, what's going on? Have you done anything different? Uh, maybe the other guys got slower. I don't know. I mean, now, it, I, I mean, I, I work on my speed all the time. Being a speed guy, I never stop working on my speed, you know, because I, I feel like I can still get faster. And um, every year I try to get faster and better at everything. So um, maybe things, I have got faster. Sorry. What are some things that you do to, to work on that speed to improve it? Um, Like my trainer in Texas, you know, he um, takes me to uh, many drills and just many things to work on my speed, my strength, and uh, just being an overall athlete. Quarterback, does it, does it fit 
a lot of what you like to do? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, every quarterback likes to go out there, uh, you know, have more command uh, of a play on the field. You uh, Be able to run the uh, Like I said, whatever coach wants to call. Why do you find from your own experience and just other quarterbacks' experience why quarterbacks have seemingly more success in the turbo or no huddle and just kind of it kind of gets people into a rhythm a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it really challenges the defense to, to make their checks uh, a lot faster as opposed to coming out of a huddle, you know, coming to the line and, uh, and playing the check game with the Mike linebackers. So uh, you kind of get up there, get a play, uh, run it, and then you have to adapt on the quick. Uh, it's what the defense is trying to do to you. And it makes them adapt quick as well and have to play faster. Uh, it really tests your your, uh, your endurance. So uh, that, that's the main thing. Does it take a get that timing down with the receivers when you're going with that quick trip? That type of thing here in practice when you up to the game? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it, takes, uh, it takes time for everything. Uh, you know, three-step, five-step, seven-step, flash, and all that stuff is about timing. Uh, and no huddle over there as well. You know, guys got to get used to running the play, going back and running another play uh, in 10, 10 or 15 seconds as opposed to letting the clock run down and having to play and everything. Where do you feel like you guys are in that process? You know, today was the first day, so I thought uh, we did a good job. Everybody, you know, recognizing the code words that we're using and, and uh, you know, getting up and running the play. Uh, I thought that was extremely good. Uh, we can get better, obviously, uh, but today we good start. Hey, Robert, uh, this morning I saw a list of guys from the NFL that was presented no man, I'm just trying to come out here and play, uh, do the best best we can as a team. Uh, that's what it's about. It's not about all that individual stuff, uh, you know, awards and all that. Or we'll come back, just come back that. Uh, it's really just about going out and playing, being effective, and that's what we want to do. And like I said, we come out every day and, and done that out here. Uh, we've had our plays, uh, we've had our bad plays, and we've learned from them. But uh, it's not about that. Stuff. You all just had a big day today. What did you have to do? You're asking the wrong guy, man. But, um, you know, we're all big fans of Al. Uh, he's, a, he's a speed guy uh, that continues to develop, just like all of us, continue to develop in our own craft. So, um, you know, that's why they're a big coach to make those decisions. I just get out there and start to really work on those goals. Defense hasn't been too happy about the point of emphasis on the illegal holding and all that. What's your take on it? I love it. <laughs> I think we all offensively love it, but you know they're throwing a lot of flags, uh, you know, for everything. Uh, they're just not stopping the plays and bringing them back. I know defensive guys don't like it, but you know you just can't do illegal illegal stuff out on the field. And last year it kind of went by the wayside uh, for for a lot of teams, and I think they want to make it a revolution. Did you it get help having these guys out here just to get you guys more mindful of some of the things? Ready for yeah, I think it, it does, and you know that's going to be a big emphasis by the league this year uh, with the holding, the holding. But they changed some other rules as well, as you guys know. Um, and it's just good for us to, to realize in the situation of football, the things that we have, um, we got to make sure we don't shoot ourselves in the foot, whether it's on offense or defense. So it keeps us honest, keeps us in, uh, in the right mindset of knowing. Hey, we